evening, wrestling fans from the world-famous AWL Arena in Tokyo, Japan. This is the Animated Wrestling League, and we are here to see the official debut of a brand new tag team. The following contest is scheduled for one fall in the tag team division. Introducing first, making his way to ring from the land of the giants, Kyoji Kobayashi. Now wait a minute. Oh, fit. Now wait a minute, announcer person. You're saying, I'm sure you're saying, I think you're saying, I hope you're saying for this bit to work. These two have tagged together multiple times. Well, they are now officially a registered tag team in the Animated Wrestling League's tag team division. The paperwork has been filled out, approved by the commissioner's office. This is the first match of the team to be known as, and they came up with this name, not me, Giant Skills because there's a giant and a guy with a whole lot of technical wrestling skill. So Giant Skills, their first official match as a tag team in the AWL. They are on zero and zero officially for their tag team record. Together they are, giant skills, and they face off against some old, well, sort of some old friends. These two actually met when they were working together in Nippon Yokata, the blatantly nationalist, racist stable headed up by Yamada Jiro, who has moved on and now is the president and CEO of Zaidan J, who will be in the corner of his employees in, this, in just a few moments in this match. So, sort of a family reunion in that everybody hates each other, so happy belated Thanksgiving. Belated by a couple of weeks, as I filmed these ahead of time. Yamada Jiro, the self-proclaimed last Japanese man, the pure spirit of Kuro, and his minions. That is Mr. Nobuyuki, who's been allowed to grow his hair back out after his uh, forced shave last season. And uh, Mr. Shota on the right-hand side of your screen at the moment, being directed by their boss. Okay, let's get on with the match, please. It's only it's only an hour show. We're trying to keep it to half an hour at one point. Anybody remember that? But we tried to keep these short. <laughs> Honestly, I just don't have time to edit as much as I wish I did. Kyojin Kobayashi going to start off against Mr. Nobuyuki. 15 minutes on the clock, and away we go. Senior official Joey Babaganoush of the famous Babaganoush Wrestling Family on the call. Irish, a couple of hard shots. And Hurricane Rana by the former Flying Yuki to take the giant off of his feet. Now the numbers, the tail of the tape here, um, very much in the favor of Kyojin Kobayashi, who's going for that, oh, Alabama slam. I'm sure there's a better Japanese place that starts with A, Akita slam maybe, I don't know. Is he from, a he's not from Akita though. Tag made, and now we see the dynamic, the little and large tag team, the tank and the Ferrari. The Ferrari in right now, the sports car, the pinfall expert. 
Ifumi Ryuji. Of course, his name Ifumi, an alternative reading of Ichni San. So he does have his name on the back of his trunks. And oh, Speed Star style drop kick. If you remember who Speed Star was, Yoshino Masato, I believe. Irish with a collar and elbow tie up into a cutter by Mista Nobuyuki. Roll to the outside. That does not constitute a tag. These are not lucha tag rules. But there is a tag in the Zidon J corner. Taking a look at the win loss records involved here. I have to scroll all the way down to find Zidon J as Mr. Shota. A career record of 13 and 24, ratio of minus 11, making him the worst in the division, the worst in AWL Hontai, and Yamada Jiro and Mr. Nobuyuki right above him, actually, at uh, 41 and 49, 15 and 23, respectively, for a for ratios of, I actually can't read that because it's in yellow, uh, minus eight. So they are on the bubble of the proverbial danger zone. I'm gonna fix that right now. I'm thinking about this. There we go. And of course, we got to be careful. The very kind assistant of Zaidan J needs to get needs to stay out of this. Even the slightest offensive contact will result in a disqualification. At least if the referee sees it. Hifumi Ryuji, on the other hand, has for the moment saved himself from the bottom of the rankings, 19 and 26 in his AWL career, ratio of minus seven, which is not great to be fair. German suplex does not hold for a bridge, however. However, on the plus side, very much on the plus side, Kyojin Kobayashi with a rate with a win-loss record of 22 and 15, a ratio of plus seven, for the moment has qualified for the AWL Oshogatsu Taikai, the New Year's Tournament. I believe actually for the very first time. I don't think he was in the tournament last year. I'd have to go back and check. If you actually have gone back and watched the New Year's Tournaments, uh, go ahead and leave a comment telling me how wrong I am on my own show. I love that. I would love that. It's never happened before. Both men return to the squared circle. And a diving tag, in comes the Giant. A win here would almost solidly put him in the Oshogatsu Taikai. Argentinian backbreaker position. Oh, drops him. A lot of things you can do from that position, but he just drops him right on his spine. And now notice how Kojin Kobayashi cutting off the ring, standing between the opponent and the corner, and just keeping the man down until he's ready. Hard body shots, uppercut, belly to belly, overhead release suplex, amazing angle on that, doesn't even need to bridge. There's the tag, their giant skills and the giant showing off his skill. Twisting torpedo elbow by Hifumi Ryuji, the man who can pin you out of any position at any time if he feels like it. Or an elbow, what's he got here? Double underhook. Butterfly suplex, however, a rope break as the foot of Mr. Shota was well and truly under the rope. What do we have here? That's interesting, the pinfall expert going for a submission. That is, that is a new one. Most wrestlers, they do know a few submissions even if it's not their speciality. About to hit the five minute point here. Collar and elbow tie up. Oh, nice counter by Hifu Ryuji. STO, Space Tornado Ogawa. And the tag is made back to the giant. All right, let's take a look at what else we've got here for you tonight in the Animated Wrestling League. We've got rank on the line in the Grand Championship best four as Gyokto faces the no, new number four contender, Aztec Kaiser Neo. It's going to be Superhero versus Evil Rabbit Spirit in our semifinal. And in the main event, six of the best women in AWL Hontai will enter the ring. Hang on, one, two. Very close there. But close, but no cigar. Mr. Shota unable to get it done. 
unable to close the deal in business speak. In our main event, six of the best women in the AWL will face each other in an elimination scramble match. The winner, oh, that's gonna be a fine. That's gonna be a big old fine. One, two, no. Kick out at the last possible second. All four men in the ring right now. The six of the best women in the AWL will face off against each other in a scramble match to determine the new Animated Wrestling League Intercontinental Champion. We've got tag team partners. We've got rookies. We've got veterans of the Joshi division. Beautiful thrust kick to counter the missed flash stopper. And wait a minute, your legal fighters right now are the giant and the guy who just kicked the giant in the face. Amazing flexibility in the legs of Mr. Nobuyuki. Takedown, single leg takedown, twists around, takes control of the head. Control of the head and the body will follow is the old cliche, but there is great truth to it. Hard shot right to the head. Collar and elbow, reversal, into the big back body drop. This is the type of action you could expect each and every week, twice a week, from AWL Hontai and AWL Strong and Free, our Japanese and Canadian branches. Call it a brand split if you must. The Animated Wrestling League, a global organization, ladies and gentlemen. A tag is made, in comes Mr. Shota. Mid-leg lariat into the cover, that could be all. One, two, ooh, 2.75 at the very least. A good showing by Giant Skills. I, st I still don't think I like that name, but hey, they picked it, they registered it, we're going with it. So we've only got three matches tonight, but incredible matches, tag team debut, rank on the line, the next challenger from AWL Hontai to the Grand Championship to be decided tonight. And, uh, and of course, Intercontinental Champion, brand new champion guaranteed to be crowned this evening, and now things are getting dangerous. The very kind assistant kindly helping Heath Muriyuji up to his feet. And offering a little encouragement to the investment, I mean to the, uh, the assistant, the associate. Uh, wait a minute, oh, very nice. Dragon Suplex countered into a German, and here comes, uh, is the giant gonna shove him off of the rope? Yes, he is, oh! And a big miscommunication. What is this gonna be? Oh, Meteora! Running behind the back, Meteora. Every season, these wrestlers get so much better. They innovate, they train, they practice new moves, they add to the arsenal. And the giant, Kyojin Kobayashi, looking to maybe get a count out here. That would be a win in the win-loss records. As long as one team wins and one team loses, it doesn't matter. As far as the method, pinfall, submission, knockout, countout, ringout, disqualification. Oh, wait a minute. Mr. Shota being brought into the ring illegally, painfully, and in a really cool looking fashion. Power bomb for no reason. I mean, these guys didn't even work together in uh, Nippon Yokata. Now the legal man back in the ring. The referee's not going to disqualify you for being in the ring when you were forced in. You're an arriving, not a settler. Ifmi Ryuji, desperate for the tag, he gets it, while Mr. Nobuyuki is clowning around like he's at the Bonenkai. If you get that joke, you know what I mean. If you get that reference, I should say. What is, oh. This, oh! 10 minutes, 10 minutes past. Into the cover, the, ro the arm under the, not under the rope, forced to kick out, very close, good eye by the referee. I thought that could have been a rope break there. After that rather unusual arm trap knee to the face. Uh oh, we've seen him do this already. O'Connor roll, German suplex, hold on. Using his opponent's momentum to get into the pinning predicament. 2.8 that time. Tag made to the giant and this tag team wrestling, yeah, I agree. And now the dominator, can he hit it? No, I don't, can he? Yes, he's, no! 
Mr. Nobuyuki escapes the Dominator, and this is the dichotomy. This is why these odd couple tag teams work so well, in my opinion. Is that all you're you're having to out wrestle Heath from Yuji, and then you're having to deal with the power of Kyojin Kobayashi. The entire dynamic of the match changes with just one touch of the hand. And we are starting to run low on time here. We're 10 minutes, uh, actually about 11 minutes in now. 15 minute time limit. I, I, why is he doing this? Second time, literally the second time that exact entrance to the ring for Mr. Shulta. Is there something personal between these two? Did Shota sleep with Kobayashi's sister? <laughs> What's going on here? Pick up, collar and elbow, tie up. These are the two legal fighters, by the way. No, we see a tag Kogeki. Yes, a tag Kogeki, first time ever. Giant skills as officially registered tag team. What are they doing? Awkward angle, but a big back body drop. They need to work, I think, on some kind of a tag team Isatsu was and I'm not sure what that would be. Ne oh, wait a minute. I think that was to the that was to the back of the knee. Dragon suplex does not hold for the bridge. Way too close to the ropes there. The referee did confirm that was actually not a, a low blow. That was a kick to the back of the knee, which is actually a really good strategy. German suplex, Mr. Nobuyuki going up to the top rope. This could be extremely dangerous. And he just did a senton back into the ring for no reason. Okay, I was making a joke about him being drunk before. Oh! Um, I'm going to be polite and say he didn't get all of that. Seriously, um, I, I, I'm questioning his, his stability right now, Mr. Nobuyuki. But he can still go blow for blow with the Prince of the Pinfall. Of course, cannot get a pinfall on the outside of the ring. Nippon Nokuri, Nippon Nokuri. Two minutes. Two minutes left. Yeah, that probably should be Nokuri, Nippon, Nokuri, Nippon. But you know what? It, it fits the pattern, so we're just going to run with it. And the, oh, Hurricane Rana countered into a power bomb. Now, those mats on the outside, only about an inch thick. They're mostly there to A look good, and B, protect the floor from the ring, the boots, the equipment, and the wrestlers. We rent the building. Oh, wait a minute. He's from Yuji trying to go after his old boss here, I think. That was a massive strategic error by the Prince of the Pinfall trying to go after Yamada Jiro began stopped by the very kind assistant. As we are running out of time here, there's time enough for a count. Well, not, well, not anymore. Ipunokuri, Ipunokuri, one minute, one minute left. He's got to get him back in the ring. They both got to get back in the ring, and we're going to have a time limit draw. S good ta spear like takedown. There's not much of a run up to it, though. And again, uh, he, here we are. He wants his old boss, and that was an attack. Here are your winners, as, as the result of a disqualification, Giant Skills! Well, technically a win for the new tag team. Well, I, I don't really agree with that, to be honest. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and rank is on the line. Introducing first, making his way to the ring. I take it back here. Making his way to the ring. From the dark side of the room, the Shadow Walker, number two contender in the best four, Doctor. Well, we do have to move on. We now have a match with rank on the line. The winner of this match will be the next challenger for the Grand Championship from AWL Hontai. The actual number one contender is Black Tiger Justice over on AWL Strong and Free. And it's going to be Dark Lunar Spirit versus Japanese Superhero. And his opponent, making his winning ring from Parts Unknown. He is the bearer of the star of Aztec, 
Murasunohoshi, Aztec Kaisal, Neo! And before we continue, I just want to talk about that last match that we saw. Um, apparently, yes, Yamanajiro attacking Hifumiro Yuji did call a disqualification from the referee. Personally, I don't agree with that. I think if you're attacked and you defend yourself on the outside, I don't think that's necessarily interfering in the match. But a win is a win, and a disqualification is a disqualification. So, Giant Skills now 1-0 this season in tag team action. Aztec Kaiser Neo, the bearer of the star of Aztec, that glowing gem on the crest of the helmet. Giving him super wrestlers, super powers. And he's gonna need them against the Shadow Walker from the pit stable, from the dark side of the moon. Of course, as we all know, rabbit spirits come from the moon. 10 minutes on the clock. This is our semi-final match of the night. Main event, six-way scramble match for the new Intercontinental Championship after being unsuccessfully cashed in by Kyojin Kobayashi last week. The title has moved to the Joshi division and AWL custom tradition and rules mandate that we decide the new champion in a six-way scramble match to give as many wrestlers as possible the opportunity to take the road less traveled. And a long way to go for an arm drag, but it works, throwing the opponent across the ring. Gyokuto, it's all gonna be about controlling the match. It's gonna be about flying when he wants to, pounding when he, grounding and pounding when he wants to. For Aztec Kaiser Neo, it's gonna be about building up momentum. And he got some of that elbow, but didn't get the full uh, falling sent on that he wanted. Oh, there you go, knees up, great counter by Aztec Kaiser Neo, the master of the Kaiser Punch, the Kaiser Kick, the Kaiser Smash. The Aztec Nohoshi, the Kaiser Guts. And going all the way around, code red, all the way around the orbit of the moon. Uh, wait a minute, a shadow walk of his own. The Kaiser Gem, the at star of Aztec, giving Aztec Kaiser Neo the power to walk the shadows himself, trying to use his opponent's own technique against him. The powers of the pit, the dark powers of the pit, the good energies, the positive energies, the light powers of the star of Aztec clashing in this metanatural sports entertainment. Eight minutes on the clock. Collar and elbow, tie up, escape by Aztec Kaiser Neo. By the way, Aztec Kaiser, really a Japanese superhero. Look him up on YouTube. It's actually kind of nuts and I love it. Into the, into the cover, one, two. Now, I'd be remiss if I didn't point out the Demon Gisei and the new Animated Wrestling League World's Tag Team Champions, Gamba's Shadows at ringside, supporting Gyokuto. I would not be surprised to see them get involved in the match somehow. A couple of good swift kicks. What do we have here? Going for an Looks like, yeah, going for an, uh, this looks like an anaconda vice. I'm pretty sure snakes eat rabbits. You know, small ones. Seven minutes and change remaining, back elbow. Irish whip across the ring. Oh, out and down. Luckily for us to Kaiser Neo on the opposite side of the ring from Gyokuto's entourage. As, but they're not, but they're coming around. Gisei immediately thinking better of it once Aztec Kaiser Neo gets back to his feet. They saw the match that just happened. They know they can be disqualified very easily. The referees have really tightened up on the rules this season as far as disqualifications go. And speaking of rabbit wrestlers like Gyokuto, we have Usachan will be one of the six women in the main event scramble match. We've got 
Usachan. We've got her tag team partner, Betty Bubbles and the Battle Bells, both members of Yin and Yang. We've got the brand new second generation Luchadora, Majiku 2, and the, uh-oh. Oh, now that's a long way to go for an arm drag. Beautiful corkscrew drop kick, though. And the stand, again, second time the standing star. The standing star press blocked. Sling Blade by Gyokuto. Going up to the red rope, the middle stone. Oh, no, he's not. It was Sagino Moon, Sagito. One, two. The dark side of the moon salt does not get the job done. Standing dark, standing corkscrew moon salt this time. One, two. Very, 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 very close. Remember, the winner of this match moves up in rank. Another dark side of the moon salt. This time from the middle of the ropes. He's gonna try it again. That's a long way to go. I think he can't. No, he's going for the big spy. Knees again. Knees up, knees up, knees up. That's why you don't go for so many high flying moves in a row. Your opponent will start to expect it. Around the Open world. Keiko, the cover. Keiko, five minutes. Five minutes past. Very, very nearly three on that one. Very, very nearly three. Remember, the winner of this match does get the next title shot. They will face either Project Tetsu 3.0 or Black Tiger Justice. We await that next championship match on the Honta, as on the uh, Strong and Free side. But we're getting ahead of the game here in AWL Hontai. And look at the strength, the super strength of the superhero, Aztec Kaiser Neo. Good roll through and a nice, nice counter wrestling with a drop toe hold. Collar and elbow. Bunny Conrana. The Bunny Conrana from. And now he's going, I think, for the mo. No, I, th I thought he was going for the mochi pounder. Because we all know rabbits in the moon, they pound mochi. Landslide by the number four contender. One, two. You might call this a number one contenders match. You might call this a number two contenders match and be a bit more accurate about it. We're looking, I think, I think we're looking Kaiser smash. Yes, we are. He's Satsuwaza. Kaiser smash Into the cover. One, two, three. Aztec Kaiser Neo with the opportunity to get back to the top of the mountain as AWL Grand Champion. It was a Kaiser kick. Great wrestling from both sides. And let's, uh, how close was this one? That was, that was pretty close. But in the end, it was the landslide and the Kaiser smash that won the bout for the superhero. Here's your winner and the new number two contender in the AWL Best Four. Aztec Kaiser And there you see the updated best four rankings. Black Tiger Justice has the first shot, but then it's going to be Aztec Kaiser Neo. Main event time. We will have a new Intercontinental Champion by the end of the hour. The following contest is your main event of the evening. It is scheduled for five falls because it is a six-way scramble match for the MVP Wrestling League Intercontinental Championship. Introducing first, we can win the from the dark side of the human psyche, one half of the original tag team. Yay! All right, so we will have tag team partners entering separately in this match because it is a singles match, essentially. Every woman for herself. I would not be surprised to see tag team partners work together, but in the end, it can only be, there can only be one intercontinental champion, one contender's title to hand out tonight. And this will actually make the AWL unusual. Next, making her win the ring from Mexico City, Mexico, the Daughter of Light, Majiku Su! Daughter of the Warrior of Light, Majiku. And 
This match will make the AWL, I think, unique in all of professional wrestling and co-ed promotions. We will have more women's titles than we do men's titles. We'll have four belts in the four championships, five belts with the tag titles. In the Joshi division, we're only going to have the grand championship and the tag team championship, the world tag team title, in the men's division. So it's going to be four championships to two. Introducing next, making her way to the ring, from the war end, one half of the Battle Bells, Usa Chan. So 20 seasons in and the Animated Wrestling League innovating, being the vanguard of professional wrestling around the world. Okay, yeah, I'm talking myself up. Why not? That's my job. Usa Chan coming into this match, 23 and 24. Ratio of minus one. She's been with the AWL Joshi division since its inception a few years ago. Introducing next, making her way to the ring from the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, Lady Smooth, Jessica Kidd. And remember, each fall in this match counts as a win or, or loss in your win-loss record. So you can run the table and pick up five points in your win-loss record, five victories. That's a huge jump. Jessica Kidd could use that. That would actually move her into the positive side of the ledger. Currently a record of 13 and 17, ratio of minus four. Another second-generation wrestler and a member of UK Gen 2, and one of the few people without a tag team partner here. And now the other side of the human psyche, we all exist in balance, light and dark. In her seat next, making her way from the light side of the human psyche, one half of the original tag team, Yin! Yin actually has a slightly better win-loss record than her sister, Yin 24 and 19 since the inception of the Joshi division. For a record of plus five, Yang, same caveat, 25 and 22. Ratio of plus three. And of course, most of their records in tag team action, but they have had singles matches as well. And finally, Making her way to the ring from Aoyama, Japan. The other half of the Battle Bells, Betty Momo. The Battle Bells, a newly officially registered tag team, wrestled last week in a losing effort, unfortunately, but showed great promise as Betty Bubbles continues to surprise each and every wrestling fan around the world with her unexpected confidence. Never, ever judge a book by its cover, and never judge a wrestler by how much they look like they would fit into the Divas division. Ancient wisdom, that. Okay, it's five falls to a finish. Everybody in the ring, I pity the referee his job right now. And I pity myself having to call all of this. Essentially three, hang on, first cover almost immediately. Pretty close to a two count there. The referee already having a seizure. Looks like Majiku 2 and Yin, Yang and Usachan, and Lady Smooth, Jessica Kidd, and Betty Bubbles. Your three pair offs at the moment. Bunny flip by Usachan. It'll be interesting to see how tag team partners interact here. It'll be interesting to see if people stick with their dance partners or move around a lot. And hopefully, before too long, we'll be able to narrow this down so there's enough that I can actually call. This is all about the Intercontinental Championship. The contender's title, one of the two contender's titles in the AWL. One here in AWL Hontai, one over there in AWL Strong and Free. Hang on a second, cover one. Only a one count. Betty Bubbles kicking out faster than Lady Smooth Jessica Kidd would have expected there. Knee to the face. A white knee of Dover. A white knee pad. And oh! Swing and a miss by Usa Chan, really throwing herself into this match. And against a veteran like Yang, she has to. 
ripcord knee by Yin, the light side of the human psyche. Referee late on the count. One, two. And that referee's delay, and I don't blame him, the difference between victory and defeat. Hang on, Isatsuaza. Bunny hop, extreme, and the duality driver simultaneously. Duality driver, one, two, three. That's her first elimination of the background. Ajiku 2 has been eliminated. And that was a matter of delay. The referee prioritized the first pinfall that he saw. We are now down to five. Cover of Betty Bubbles, one, two. Kick out at the last second. Both the Battle Bells and Yin and Yang are intact. And a kick to the midsection. Now the tag team partners helping each other out here. And that's a submission on Betty the Manji Bubbles has been eliminated. Betty Bubbles out via Manji Gatame as a victory for Lady Smooth Jessica Kidd. A cover on Usachan. One kick out. And this is now basically Yin and Yang versus two people who have never even teamed together. In tornado rules, essentially. It will eventually, eventually, only Yin or Yang, assuming they can eliminate their opponents, only Yin or Yang can win this match. It will come down to one-on-one -on -one eventually. But will it come down to sister versus sister, light versus dark? Kick to the midsection, going for the white knees of Dover, and she hits it. And look at the strength of Yang. Into the cover here, one, two, as Usachan takes a painful fall. We still have 12 minutes left, and we're already down to four. As I was trying to say earlier, the Intercontinental Championship, five successful title defenses, and you jump to the head of the line, you get an automatic title shot for the AWL Joshi Championship under the stipulations of your choosing. So the IC title, it's the road less travel. It's a tough belt to get, as you can see. It's a tougher belt to hold on to. This, the winner of this match will be the 33rd AWL Intercontinental Champion. There's only been 25 Grand Champions to put that in, in context. And only 13 Joshi Champions. So this belt's a hot potato. Going up, Duality Driver. He sets it was a Duality Driver on Usachan. One, two, no. And wait a minute. The referee, look behind you. Look behind, Joey, look behind you. One, two, Okay, that was a screw up by the referee. Yin should have been eliminated by now. The referee did not see that cover, therefore could not count it. And Yin waiting until she heard the, the one count to start trying to kick out. Good strategy, good conservation of energy. Double underhook, reversal, landing on her feet. Yin from the light side of the human psyche. Beautiful hammerlock suplex. Modified version of a dragon drop by Usachan face planting her opponent. White knees of Dover, but a cover. One, two, Yang kicks out. And a cover off of the white knees of Dover. Hey, referee, hang on. One, two, no, Yin's still in the match. That's twice the referee's count has been unlucky, but Jessica Kidd. Go Boon Cake, go Boon Cake, five minutes, five minutes passed. Cover again, one, two, no, duality driver, but not straight into the cover. Again, waiting for the referee's attention. Checks the shoulders, one, two, full circle. Yang goes full circle on Usachan. Yang goes full circle, one, two, three, and that does it. Usachan has been eliminated. And is now the moment where Yin and Yang will have to go up against each other. Lady Smooth Jessica Kidd's gonna try and make that happen. Try to counter the numbers advantage here, but right now Yang sticking to her own business for the most part. Lady Smooth Jessica Kidd realizing she's essentially in a two-on-one situation here. Ripcord. Nine minutes remaining. We we're only, we're, we're only six minutes into this match, folks. That's how in, intense this action has been. And now it's Yin. Yin makes the first strike, and she's going straight to the Duality Driver on her sister. Duality Driver, one, two, and Yin eliminates Yang. 
Yang has been eliminated. I did not see that coming, and this capacity crowd here in the AWL Arena didn't see it coming either. We are down to two. Duality, no, Hammerlock Suplex. Hammerlock Suplex, or Single Underhook Suplex. She's gonna be going for the Duality Driver. It's gonna be Duality Driver versus the White Knees of Dover. Oh, a stomping knee DT with an elbow drop. Y Yin, a season zero, Yin and Yang, the only season zero originals in the AWL Joshi division. What do we have here? We're going around. Oh, oh, and the educated feet of Yin coming into play. But Jessica Kidd, every part of her body is highly educated. Has a first from Oxford. Into the cover. One, two, no! Going for the, we're going to the fall here. We're going for something. We're going for White Knees of Dover. Yes, she goes for the kick. Builds up momentum. White Knees of Dover. From the United Kingdom. One, two, three. From the United Kingdom to the pay window. It's Jessica Kidd is your new Intercontinental Champion. She will begin her path down the road less traveled next time. Here's your winner. And the new Wrestling League Intercontinental Champion, Jessica Kidd. Corridor, Kimarida.